Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today I have three teams for you for the Bard class event. The restriction was Wild Folk from Pan's Vale. So I got a high level team, a mid level team, and a low level team. Uh, they're kind of quirky. They're not, you know, I like this first one the best most likely. I kind of put them in the order of how I like them. And this is the mid level team. So we have a Boreal Crystal. Um, Luna, Luna, and King Salinas. So I think K King Salinas is a great choice for all these teams. It's, it's pretty similar to the world event. Uh, I think the restrictions like really close to the world event, if not exactly the same. So you might be able to just use your world event team for this. Uh, that happens a lot of the time. If you you should pay attention to the to weekly events, and a lot of the time, uh, the world event and the um, class event, you can almost use the same team a lot of the time. So, yeah. Uh, went with the Boreal Crystal, Luna Luna, King Salinas. King Salinas starting all Wild Folk with 50% mana, plus he does his little bit of splash damage. He's pretty good. I would use him on pretty much any team that you're going to make here in this uh, Bard class event. Um, then we have Luna, who hits all enemies for AoE damage. Then either inflicts 1 to 2 status effects on all allies or 1 to 2 status effects on all enemies. Which is pretty fun because she could like enchant your whole team or barrier your whole team. Or like fairy fire the whole enemy team or like death mark the whole enemy team. It's pretty fun to play with her. Plus her third trait if you match yellow it makes a little explosion. So she's good at mana generation too. And then a boreal crystal just because you know blue and purple we're not using yet. It blows up a bunch of green. Um, she uses green. So you could use whatever you want for that first slot there. Mountain Crusher would work fine. Reflection of good. Uh, any kind of explodey weapon. Or one of those weapons that does damage and then boosts off of Wild Folk or Pain's Veil or something would be fine as well. I just want a Boreal Crystal because, you know, like I said, blue, purple, blows up green. Why not? Uh, just cast that Luna like twice and you'll win. Match yellow, blow up some gems. All right, here's the high-level team. I was just bound and determined to make a Wild King team out of this restriction just for fun. So, of course, you could do um, Dawnbringer with, like, I don't know, Fawnessa or Trickster or King Salinas. Any, like, maybe not Trickster, but I don't know. Trickster's like a, a bootleg Wish.com, like, dollar store leprechaun, so he's pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, any kind of yellow allies. King Salinas would be the best, and then, you know, maybe... Faunessas or something and then the Dawnbringer but um trying not to do Dawnbringer here wanted to make a team out of the Wild King so went with the uh, Doom Scythe Wild King Trickster and King Salinas so the bottom half of the team is all mana generation and then the top half of the team is uh skulls so King uh the Wild King makes a bunch of yellow and skulls yellow and doom skull I think and then um enrages all allies and um so in that he's going to make a bunch of yellow and skulls i figured why not use the doom scythe which could then turn those yellow and uh back and you know turn the yellow into skulls so he's making a bunch of yellow and skulls on the board whether he misses or not there's going to be yellow next to skulls and then you can turn the yellow into doom skulls with the doom scythe while hitting all enemies for aoe damage so early in the class event you just cast like the trickster real quick um you know and then I might have. I probably should have used move the trickster up a slot, maybe, since uh, there's. You're probably not gonna have a mana like a. I was kind of thinking explode potion, um, enchant potion. Usually, but with class events, most people do them for free. They don't buy the potions, so you might want to move that trickster around. Maybe move him up a slot or something, so he can get his mana quicker. But he has a 75% start. He's pretty easy to get up. So yeah, what I was doing was just getting both the Doom Scythe and the Wild King up. And then I would cast, like, the Wild King and then the Doom Scythe. And it was pretty cool. It's uh, not the best team ever. Clunk, a little bit clunky, a little bit, you know. You gotta set it up to do its thing. But once it does its thing, it's pretty fun. So definitely recommend that first team. But if you're trying to use the Wild King, there is a Wild King team for you. Alright, here's the low-level team. So we're not using any Mythics. We're not using any Legendaries. You're gonna find that a lot of the time, you're gonna be using the Black Manacles for, like, class events and stuff like that world events with spell damage medals so get used to it get used to using that uh black manacles if you're getting sick and tired of the black manacles go get uh, dancing daggers go equip dervish class 
and uh, get that 250 victories. And then you'll have another weapon that can hit all enemies, so you can switch out, use a yellow weapon sometimes. It's kind of like a, a once again, like a bootleg dollar store Dawnbringer. The uh, Dancing Daggers, it's yellow. But with this one, Silvasi, Trickster, Black Manacles, and Blade Dancer. Um, Silvasi turns blue to purple, steals attack, and uh, gives it to himself. So he's a decent tank. He has dodge. He has a 33% skull reduction. He gets some attack. He gets to, you know, hit pretty hard with skulls and everything. Trickster, once again, because 75% start. Uh, dollar Store, Leprechaun, blowing up a bunch of green. Black Manacles hits all enemies, could devour, and then uh, Blade Dancer to finish them off once you kill a couple, because he does scatter damage. Uses yellow, we're not using yellow yet. So, normally I would get up Trickster first, and then blow up the board, and then see if I have Silvasi alignment. If I don't, hopefully I got Black Manacles, cast that. And then you keep looking for the Silvasi alignment, and yeah, finish them off with the Blade Dancer. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining, it helps a lot. Tear Guild about the channel, comment below, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.